Hello everybody and welcome back to Pumpkin Days. Where it doesn't look like we've got anything. Okay, cool. Okay, so you guys have been telling me I haven't been watching my TV enough. Or maybe I have. I, I'm not entirely sure. The days blur into each other because you don't have like a, a knockout at the end of the day and you wake up and then that's your, that's your day. But be quite careful that you get everything done. So I would like to watch my TV. I would like to watch the cooking channel. And I learned how to make mint tea. What's up, my dudes? Today I'm going to give you a hot drink recipe. If you want to, sorry, if you want to make some mint tea, all you need is a camellia and a mint. Tea is mad tasty and good for you. Tune in next time for more recipes. I need to get mint in my herb garden. And I need to grow camellia in my flower garden as well. Because all these things make good recipes. And they, they grow like all year round as well, except for winter, I think. Winter I'll probably have to just like make sure I've got a lot of stuff stored. I might have to get more storage chests and things as the, the, the year goes on. It's only the 18th of spring though, so we're only two thirds of the way through spring right now. So we've got a lot of time before winter sets in. Crafting channel, I have made a steel sickle. Wow, cool. Or learn to make one anyway. Uh, we couldn't get someone in today, so Gemma will be teaching us. And the weather tomorrow will be 79% rain. Oh, fantastic. And I like the rain. Okay, so I'm thinking that maybe we should get some more different herbs because we've got rosemary and I think we've got sage. Again, I wish I could like click on these and remember what they were. Ugh, I'm terrible for planting things and then not remembering what they are. But anyway, I, d I know that I've got sage. I know I've got... Uh, Loads of lavender over here. This is my lavender bed. Eventually I'll just have a bed of everything and then it'll be great, but yeah. So I also kind of need a pickaxe. I'm kind of thinking it might be cool uh, to try and run up to the mines. And yes, I know my place is a mess. Eugene would be, Eugene would be super annoyed with me if he saw the state of my farm. Yeah, I don't have much in the way of stamina today, so I'm kind of thinking it might actually be a good idea. Oh, really? To just pop up to the museum, go on a walk, open some of the map up. I can definitely do this last one, right? Yeah. Okay, let's go on a walk. I have mail to pick up on the way as well, apparently. Mm, I've got a lot of stuff in my inventory here. Some of which I probably need to sell on the way. So I'll sell them on the way past, that's fine. That's absolutely fine. And if I've got any coconuts, I can try and see if I can make some coconut juice. Well, there's loads of coconuts around. I may take those back to my kitchen actually and just make some juice. My stamina's a little on the downside today. And they seem to show up quite a lot on sunny days. I don't know if that's just coincidence. There's loads today. So gathering, early on in the game, gathering is a really good thing. It massively helps. I'm just going to go into these... Uh, Trees over here as well, so if there's any coconuts up here. Yes, there are. I don't think running really takes stamina, so I'll just keep the coconuts in my inventory and I'll just sell all the bits and bobs that I don't need. like house up there. I wonder what this is. Let's go have a look. There are all sorts of random places just to, oh it's a, a cemetery. Hi Tuesday. Bleh. Haha did I scare you baby bats? You look like you were just dug up. I'm Tuesday. They put me in charge of the town graveyard. I wonder why. It's a pretty sweet gig. Bleh. Hey, hey, hey. What do you want, baby bat? People don't come to me unless they want something. Dark. 
I like you, Tuesday. I like you a lot. This is what happens when you explore. You find cool people. Yeah, I need to go sell and then I need to go running through the woods. See if I can find some mint because I do still only have like 14 days to find some mint for Pete. So I do need to try and work out if I can find where mint grows. And hopefully I won't lose too much uh, in the way of points with Pete for not having uh, found the mint. 14 days time so we've got until like into the autumn to find it and that's quite a long time oh hang on I've run past the shop I need to go in the shop and get rid of some of the stuff that's clogging my inventory up otherwise I won't have enough uh, room for gathering I probably won't anyway I need like a bigger backpack really but um, at least I can give myself the best chance How are you doing? If you want to be the best farmer and put your passion into your work, you need to farm with a purpose. I like to grow herbs for medicinal and spiritual purposes. I'm growing herbs too, and flowers, and crops, and flowers, and herbs, and trees. Yes. Friendship too. Okay, let's um, sell these things. So I need to sell. Scallops, sell. Flounder, sell. Could have made more by cooking that up, but I need the inventory space more. I will sell the fodder. And I will sell the wood. But I will leave the coconuts because I'm going to make myself like seven coconut waters when I come back. So I've only got like one thing in my inventory there, which is the water. Sorry, the coconuts. Okay, so if I look on my map, I want to be heading up here. Up here out of Wahoo Beach. And keep going up and up and up. So that didn't happen last time. I ended up going this way. I'm going to try my best to sort of head what I would say is north on the map. See if we've got any camellias I can pick up here. Because so I can grow them then. What's this here? Curry. We've got loads of curry, but I haven't actually... Um, <clears throat> I've picked up quite a bit of curry in the past. But I've not actually planted it, I don't think. Quite a few things around here, so I'm wondering if I just have a little sort of foresty detour. I might find something good. Some more camellia. This is my problem. I get I go on a detour every time I try to get to the mines. Like a massive detour as well. Camellias, maybe. Yes. Picking up a lot of camellias, not a lot of anything else. What I need is mint. I think I've gone a little off the path though. Just a bit. What's this? Lemongrass. Nice. I'm going to grow everything that I pick up, basically. I'm going to grow it all. Although I kind of need to work out where I am a bit more though. Alright, I'm, I'm just outside. Okay, right, I know where I am. So I need to try and keep going north. So I'll keep following this path, I think. I can't see where I am. Right, the Palash jungle is that way. 
I'll keep going this way because I think that goes out to oh what's this lavender kangaroo paw it's also cool stuff and I can grow all of it what are you cinnamon I don't know if I'll be able to get cinnamon seeds out of a cinnamon stick but we'll have to see in fact, I want to see right now. I can. I can make a cinnamon tree. Fantastic. They'll buy the seeds. Just go find them everywhere. I want to see what's around up here. Ooh, what's this? Iris? Cinnamon? Zinnia. Wow, look at all this stuff I'm getting. I'm going to run out of inventory space, so if you want to be a gatherer in this, you kind of can be. It's great. I enjoy the gathering in this a lot, actually. Oh, the path just ended. Well, well. There's a gigantic cliff over there. Um, well, well. I'm nearly there, though. So if I just go around... Just keep going. Keep going straight. I need to find a way around this mountain and up the uh, the side there. Oh, it looks like there's another path here I could maybe try and follow. What's all this then? Basil. Yeah, I'm going to eventually need to try and organise my farm a lot more. So I know what everything is and where everything is. It'll probably take more quests once I know I can find things because I know that like I took that mint quest and now I've not found any mint, which is terrible. I don't know where I even find mint now. That might be Pumpkin Vale over there. Right, so where are we now? We are getting up towards the museum and stuff. Cool. I may need to use some money. I don't know how much money I have. 127. So I may need to use some money to go home. I don't know how much it's going to cost. We are quite far away. I may end up passing out, and that may be cheaper. Oh, and you guys have been saying as well, I'm just going to have a quick look, um, that apparently there are market days, and I've missed a couple of them already, but there's one coming up in two days' time. Apparently there's a lot of things that I might need there, so, hmm, interesting. This looks like it might be the caravan for the uh, waypoint. Very useful. So even if I do nothing more... So Wahoo Beach, five gold. Why does it cost so so little to come up here? That's amazing. I will travel back. So now I have fast travel all the way up there. Fantastic. So I was up at the Clementine Mines. So I imagine that maybe the, the Moss Heart Swamps and stuff are more expensive because there a place you go for certain things? I don't know. Spoonie Island was 20 gold. But maybe it's just the places that you need to go a lot 
that maybe charges you a bit less or the places you need to go as a newbie it charges you a bit less not really sure but I'm glad it wasn't too much anyway let's go to bed <laughs> I think I need it that was a good run that I've got lots of herbs and flowers and things that I can plant as well And lots of coconuts, so I can get my stamina up as well. I'm not at the point yet where the recipes are quite tying in with the things I'm making. Um, but when I do get to that point, then it will be like, stop with the fishing and the coconut water and uh, start with the cooking of everything. And it will be so good. I always love it when you start to be able to properly make things in this. Or in these kinds of games, because not not in this game. I've never played this game before, but things like Harvest Moon I have played. Right, let's go to sleep first. And then we'll get another recipe in the morning as well, which will be awesome. I'll just sleep the full night through. Ah, good morning, world. I had one leftover lavender seed there. Okay, so... As far as I'm aware, this is for flowers, and this is for herbs. So what do I have? Some basil. I have some curry leaves. And I have some lemongrass. I think I might hoe a little, a little more patch. A little extra patch on the side. Oops. And then I can always extend them forward as well if I need to. So make some basil. Uh, I don't know what kangaroo port actually is. I'll plant it maybe in with my flowers but I'm not entirely sure what it is. Maybe I have like four iris seeds and maybe um I'll grow four camellia seeds as well. I've got cinnamon tree seeds and I can have quite a few cinnamon trees. So I might grow like four of those in a line somewhere. And then lemongrass. Basil and lemongrass. And curry, I want two curry seeds probably. That'll do me. I'll sell the rest. Or make it into something, or whatever I want to do. Silver watering can would be extremely handy at this point in time. Oh look, all my lavenders have started to grow nicely. What happened there? What? I don't understand that. What happened to them? They had enough water. I don't even know what they were. Darn it. What were you? Why are you dead? I, I don't understand. Do you drown if it's too... Oh dear. Herb growing seems to be more complicated maybe than I th first realised. Oh well, we'll grow this lemongrass and see if it does okay. It might be that there's certain things that don't like the climate over here and I maybe need, need to grow them over in Pumpkin Vale. I am not sure at all. But I am not happy. Put it that way. I mean, I suppose all of these things that are growing over here are things I just found in the forest. I mean, those are all flowers of some description. I don't know what kind.
But I'm going to try and plant everything. So let's just see. Oh, it takes four days to grow in all seasons except winter in Wahoo Beach and Spoony Island. Does that mean except in winter and in Wahoo Beach and Spoony Island? Or does it mean... That it will only grow in Wahoo Beach and Spoonie Island. That's interesting. I'm not sure that's badly worded, I think. Um, okay. Iris seeds, info. Can be grown in Pumpkin Vale all year except winter in four days. Ah! How about Camellia? Grows in all seasons except winter. And it grows in Wahoo Beach, and I think that's what it means, in Wahoo Beach and Pumpkin Vale. So you can't grow that one on Spoonie Island. Herbs can be harvested in five days. Okay, so iris seeds I can't do anything with. Um, that's what's happened. I've grown them in the wrong place. Cinnamon tree seeds grows in all seasons except winter in Wahoo Beach and Pumpkin Vale. Can be harvested in 28 days. Nice. So I'll, I'll plant my cinnamon trees. I'll plant my kangaroo paws then, because they seem to be okay over here. But yeah, I haven't done anything terrible. I just grew them in the wrong um, area, I think, there. So that's fine. Let's have a look at the curry seeds. Curry seeds can be grown in Wahoo Beach by the looks of it. And I'll know if I've read it wrong, because then, you know, they'll die. So <laughs> Then I will know. All right, so camellia seeds can be grown here, so I'll grow those. Wonderful. Hopefully I'll have a nice sparkly lavender patch soon as well. That'd be quite cool. Zinnia, right, let's have a look at zinnia. Well, I'll make one seed and I'll see if it can be grown here. Right, zinnia can only be grown in pumpkin vale. Oh yeah, except for winter in four days. So what I need to be doing, if I want to be growing things like zinnia and iris and stuff like that, is to grow them over in pumpkin vale. So all of this, honestly, uh, camellia is fine to grow, zinnia seeds, no, curry can be grown over here. And it looks like lavender's doing pretty well. Probably grow that in a couple of days, which is awesome. Right, anything to harvest over here? Yes, it looks like I've got some jalapenos. Boop. Uh, that looks about it for today, though. That's fine. And I'll just ship a few of the things I found. I may be able to get myself a plot in another area, so in Spoonie Island or in... Uh, Pumpkin Vale, and that might be a good idea, actually. So I will maybe keep my iris and zinnia seeds. Well, I've got, no, I'll sell the zinnia. I will get more of that. It's just stuff you find in the forest, for goodness sake. I'll just, I'm going to sell it all, I think. I'll sell. Now, the camellia, if I can find mint, then that's great. Camellia will be useful, then. But then I am growing some as well. Probably by the time I find mint and start growing it, then I'll be all right. Okay. I'm going to also go to my cooking set and make myself some coconut water. So I've got something to make my, my stamina grow a little bit. But I could really do with like getting some kind of fruit coming through that I can regularly make this stuff from. Like, lots of fruit dishes. What do you mean? It's coconut water. Oh man! I meant to cook more than one. I meant to cook like seven at once. Let's cook again. So coconut water and I go uh, six I think I can do now. If that uh, was a really small uh, thing, then I would maybe cook them one at once just in case I messed it up. I wouldn't do a stack of six, but I was fairly confident on that one. 
So now I have lots of coconut waters. And what I would like to do is to make a little patch over here. Honestly, I don't see why I can't just do a little patch like this, honestly. I hope that will work. But I'm just going to plant in my, my uh, cinnamon trees. Oh. Why won't you go? Oh, it doesn't like having stuff around it. Okay, that's fine. Good to know. You can see it's not happy with the, the direct. Which is something I thought might happen, but it's good to know that that's a thing. So if I left click... Oh, no. That was not what I meant. Left click and hold to change size. So I'm probably going to have to, I've, I've messed up with that, but what I want to do is just maybe along here, we'll do cinnamon trees. Why does that one look messed up? I think that needs to be there. I need to eat coconut water as well. Eight, eight. No, it was in the right place. Rats. No. Ah, okay, fine. Fine. I'll get my spade and I will try and correct all this rubbish that I've been doing over here. And then I will take some more coconut water. Yeah, okay. So, we want to now plant... Oh yeah, so these trees do need a certain amount of space, these cinnamon trees. They'll be pretty when they're grown, no? And I know which one's a cinnamon now, hurrah! I need to go coconut hunting again. Coconuts are a big help. And one more. And then we'll just dig up that other mistake I made. And then we'll go get some sleep. Because it's dark already. What? It's like five o'clock. How's that dark at that time? I need to cut down some of these trees as well. It's looking like uh, these are getting ready to pop now. Oh, man. I might need to get them in the morning. <laughs> Hopefully they'll still be all right in the morning. Sleep until two in the morning. Okay, that will do. I'll do some gardening um, when I wake up. Uh, maybe some fishing. And then we'll go in and see if uh, we can find mint again. I'm really struggling with that. Massively struggling with it. So many cucumbers. I want to unequip that just in case uh, when it is unequipped. Okay, cool. Because what you don't want is to accidentally dig something up. Harvest there. I can see the one I've missed, by the way. Don't worry, I'll go back for it.
All the potatoes are done. Lovely. We're on the 20th of spring. So it would be advisable to grow some more potatoes. Whether I should maybe grow them in their own little their own little patch, I'm not really sure. Um, people are saying that apparently these will last two. Like the cucumbers will last two. So I'm going to make a cucumber seed and I want to see what uh, seasons. No, they only grow in spring. So I'm expecting the cucumbers to die. Potatoes. Okay. Grows all year in three days. Right, so I can just keep going with the potatoes all year round. Fantastic. Um, and I'll have a look at other things like the jalapenos and stuff. It looks like the cucumbers will die at the end of spring, though. But I can make myself a massive potato patch. And not have to worry about that. Okay, so I'll just sell all the cucumbers. Because I'll have another few harvests. And probably the end harvest, I'll just make, like... A whole bunch of seeds ready and if there are recipes that use cucumbers and we'll have to wait till next year before we start really um, using them but it's gonna take me a while to collect recipes anyway so how many potatoes do I think I want hmm. maybe like 16 and then sell the rest a way to do multiple seeds at once. Now we have some loads of cucumbers, some, some things that I found in the forest, I've got some seeds to plant, I'm going to actually sell that cucumber seed, I don't need it. And then we're just going to plant some uh, potatoes. Now, unfortunately, I can't move the lentils and I can't move the cucumbers at this point. That's a shame, but the, as I say, the cucumbers will all be gone. Um, I don't know about the lentils. These all haven't died yet, which is great. Lavender's looking lovely. I'm super happy with that lavender, actually. I like that. Cinnamon trees and all my fruit trees and all everything trees and hopefully when they're grown I'll be able to see exactly what they are. I've got a little bit of stamina left which I may use to start chopping at these trees. Wadum. Wadum. But I do want them gone eventually so I feel like that's a good thing to do. And then go on like another gathering hunt, I think. I have received something in the mail. I bet it's lots of money. And quite a lot of wood for that. That's pretty good. Let's go and have a look at my TV for the morning as well. TV. Let's see if we've got new things. Yes, we do. Nice. I made rice pudding. That won't come in until later. I've been putting a lot of thought into what to cook next and I figured it out. Ha 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 ha. To make some yummy rice pudding, you'll need one cooked rice and one milk. Super simple, eh? Tune in next time for more recipes. Okay, crafting channel. Made a brown bookshelf. If you couldn't get someone in today, I'll be teaching you instead. And check the weather. It will be raining tomorrow. Yay! The thing I have to be careful of is that on the days where it's gonna be like dry, that I've got enough stamina to water everything. <laughs> that would be terrible. Okay, let's go get my money. Mm 
They're like totes need some money. Get my sawmill and then I can get my barn. And then I can start like picking up plots in the rest of the, the town. It'd be so good. I might get I might get a considering it's only five to travel between the two, and I hope it doesn't get more expensive or anything like that, but considering it's not too much to travel between those two areas, I may get a plot over in Pumpkin Vale as well. And then I can start like talking to the people over there too. And I do need to check out the mines. I just needed to get the waypoint over there so that I could then go and explore a little bit more. So let's see. Hopefully. Oh. So I got the cucumber task. Okay. So nice work on your farm crater. Well, well, well. It looks like the new farmer really knows how to hustle. I'm proud of you. I'll tell you what. How about you have these seeds here? Don't ask me where I got them. It's a secret. You probably can't use them in cooking, but maybe they'll sell for a good amount. Keep up the good work, you hear? For 500 coins and five mystery seeds. Potarot seeds. Interesting. Here's your sh payment for the last shipment, 30. 315. Farm quota of jalapeno. 110 for another shipment. 301 for another shipment. Um, greetings, true believer and farmer. If you want to turn your crops into more profits, I've got just the thing for you. A beer barrel. Different crops make different kinds of beer. I'll make one available in the shop if you ship 100 barley. Excelsior! <laughs> I love you, Duante. I love you so much. All right, but I now have money. I have a lot of money. Let's have a look at the info on potarot seeds. An experimental hybrid crop, it takes 13 days to grow in any season except for winter. Sells for 20 gold. But I think I should plant them! Don't you? I'll, I'll make it its own special little plot. To plant them in as well. Don't you worry. And we shall see about hybridizing. Yes. Right. Oh no, I always forget. Oh no, it's, ne it's nearly nine o'clock. Yay. Hello, Duante. I, I need... I need the sawmill that you sell. How are you doing? Too bad there aren't... Sorry. Too bad there aren't too many romance comics out there. Otherwise, maybe I could get Katie to read more comics. Oops. Maybe that was a secret. It's okay, Duante. It does not matter. She's funny. Okay, so buy and sell a sawmill for 400. But also get a backpack or a storage crate or something. Okay, and I chopped down that big tree, so that would be quite cool. I might be able to make quite a few planks. So, just to remind myself, to build myself a chicken coop, which is what I want to get next... I will need 20 plants and 800 gold added to my debt. Okay. And I may just like fill the coop with chickens before I start on the debt as well. That's fine. Let's see if we can make it. Let's see if we can uh, go in. I think I had some wood in my chest and I had some of that smoky wood from cutting down a tree. Uh, if I can find more coconuts, get more stamina, or even just sleep a little bit. And just take a couple of days to do it. I also the fact that I have so much money and there's a a nice little market here coming up in all oh, today. Oh, I wonder if that's already going. Let's go and have a little look around. Because it'll probably be up in this I never go up to the square, like the library and stuff. I imagine that's where it'll be. Like up here. I think. Unless it's up in Pumpkin Vale only. If it's going to be anywhere, it'll be over here. Oops. Doesn't seem to be, so we'll need to work on finding where the farmer's markets actually are. Let's just see what it says. The farmer's market is open for business. Hmm. That's interesting. Pumpkin Vale, Pumpkin Square, Wahoo Beach. Hmm. 
Hmm. It might only be in Pumpkin Square. Shall we go and see if we can get to Pumpkin Square? Because we can already get up to the um, museum area. So I could maybe make it up to the Redwood Forest today and then go across the Pumpkin Vale. Might be a good thing to do. All right, let's go for a run and see if we can make it up to the market before it closes. It doesn't seem to be around here anywhere. Again, that might be another one of the difficulties with uh, starting in Wahoo Beach. But it is still really cool to start over here because there's coconuts. You can just pick them up off the floor and get stamina. It's great. Yeah, I can't wait until my fruit trees start producing as well. That'd be pretty cool. I'll have stamina all the time. I do kind of wish that um, I had <laughs> been a bit more careful about where I'd planted things and, and remembering what things were because I didn't know when I started that like I wouldn't be able to tell what the trees were after I planted them and and to be fair I've planted more trees since but I've tried to remember what they are uh, <laughs> causing me a little bit of upset that right. Uh, the museum travel. Oh! That's gonna cost me a hundred gold. Wow. Eighty gold, twenty gold. Why does it only cost five gold to go to get back? But it costs a hundred gold to go there. And it cost me a hundred gold to get back from the swamps. It's all very random. I, I will I will do that. I really want to try and go to this farmer's market if I can. I need to go in this direction. Not too worried about actually going to the museum at the moment. I will, I will like to, I would like to do it, but at the moment the, the farmers market is on today, and I have to wait a week for another one. So, what? Falling, falling, no. I'm hoping that eventually I'll make so much money that it'll be trivial. To do these things. Ah, so where are we now? Right, there should be a bridge around here somewhere. All oh, right, there's another um, fast travel point. Okay, let's go and get that. That never hurts. All these iris and zinnia patches. Kind of crazy. Okay, so I am picking up all these fast travels, which is great. Now I need to go to Pumpkin Square. Hopefully I'll manage that by the end of the day and hopefully the farmer's market will still be there. I still haven't really found where mint grows, so that's uh, something I need to work out. There seems to be different areas, have different things, so I think this might be the way into Pumpkin Vale. Hello! Strange person. Komoko. <laughs> the tasty new morsel has found its way into my web. Take care, little insect. You're in Komoko's web now. Look at the little insect that's been ensnared in my web. Tell me, little insect. What do you think of bugs? They're cool. <laughs> An acceptable answer, if a bit crude. Okay. That way I know who she is. For future. So it looks like, oh, here we are. We have a little farmer's market in the square. So I have to pay 100 gold to come up and, and, and browse this farmer's market, apparently. A bag of barley. Oh, mint. Wow, okay.
barley, some dill. Let's make all of those into seeds. Can't do that with the barley, apparently. And I'll just see where they grow. Right, dill I can only grow in pumpkin veil. But I can grow mint. All right. How many do I need for my uh, quest? Three. All right, okay. So if I get three and then another couple to plant as well. Lovely. Okay. Sugar, hot sauce, vanilla, all these things. But I'm okay. I'm okay without most of those, but the fact that I got mint is awesome. Fantastic. Good times with Pete, hopefully. Make those into seeds. Oh no! Oops. Didn't mean to do that. I'm gonna <laughs> gotta buy two more now. <laughs> ah They're obsessed with making seeds out of things. Okay, so let's just buy two more. And leave. And then not turn those into anything else. Right, let's see what else we've got. All the fishes. That's very cool. What have we got over here? Kiwi, green bean, chestnut, cranberry, cabbage, rhubarb, grape. Diamond Falls produce. From Conveil. Oh, right. So these are different produces from the different areas. Spinach, lentil, banana, cashew. So these will all grow. Oh, signs. Yeah, I want one of each of these signs. And then I'll make a... Well, actually, no, not so much. Uh, do, do I have barley here? How do I get barley seeds? Yeah, I'll buy a honeydew melon. I'll buy a peppercorn. I'll buy blueberries. I don't have those yet. Like, I don't have cashews. And I don't have bananas. I have lentil and spinach, though. Oh, this is great. It's really helping pad things out. A jounce stand. Oh, no. All you need is one drink and experience a burst of energy like never before. I, I don't care. I will keep going with my coconut water. It's against my principles. Meat and dairy stall. Lake and river fish. Now, it's interesting that I didn't see um, that's cool that I can come back here pretty much every week I didn't see a stall for uh, Spoonie Island I only seen one for Pumpkin Vale, Wahoo Beach and Diamond Falls I wonder where Diamond Falls is let's have a look on the map and see if I can find it up there, so it looks like if we go up there, you can maybe get plots up there as well. That's not really interesting. Do you know why that's super interesting? Because Spoonie Island, Wahoo Beach and Pumpkin Vale have stars as if you can get plots up there, but Diamond Falls doesn't seem to, which is really interesting. So... Soybean, wheat, carrot, black beans, onion, lemon, corn, and lettuce. Hmm. Interesting. Very interesting. As, as I play more, I'll probably get more of an idea of all of that anyway. Is there anywhere I want to go? Um, I'm not going to spend too much time on the Pumpkin Vale people at the moment. I'll probably... You know, I'll be able to come back next time a lot more easily because I've got that waypoint that's right by here now, so that's fine. I'll go and have a little look around in the woods and stuff, see what I can find. 
Mind you though, having a look around the woods up here isn't so useful. Not so useful. Are there any other fast travel points? I've got one, two, three, four, five. No, I've got them all now, so that's cool. So I think I just need to head back to the Redwood Forest. Uh, fast travel point, and then go back home, I think. So I'm just head over the bridge. That was really cool. We went to the farmer's market and I got so much cool stuff that I can use in uh Yeah. I can pick some of this up actually. Some of these flowers, because they sell for like ten each. Oh violets. Interesting. So I may as well just sell them. Little extra money for me. That would definitely be what I would do when I started. Um, I would just go around picking up everything and then just plant it all in rather because when I started I didn't realize quite how much gathering there was so I was like oh no I'll uh, I need to buy all these seeds and it kind of does tell you you need all those seeds and then you're like I don't really actually need them so every time I want to go to the farmers market and use this this particular fast travel point it's gonna take I wonder whether I'm going to go to the museum. 20. I'm going to go to the museum. And then I'm going to see if going to, from the museum back to Wahoo Beach will cost me a lot. Oh, right. So everything from the museum costs five gold. So when I want to travel back to Wahoo Beach, it's way, way cheaper to go back to the museum and then go back, even though it's going to take you an extra hour, it's much, much cheaper. So you need to remember that, guys. If you want to travel for 25, go to to and from the museum. What I want to know as well is, will going from Wahoo Beach to the museum cost me five gold? It cost me 150 gold in two hours now. Going to the museum is going to cost me a fortune too. So what I may need to do then is to possibly try not to be... Did I just go to Spoony Island by accident? Ah, oh, nightmare. Oh, that's why everything costs so much more. Okay. Go back to Wahoo Beach. That's only 20. It's fine. Spending a fortune on fast travel now. I'm glad that it's not, it's not cumulatively going up. This is 100 to get to everything from here. Except Spoony Island. Swamps cost 80. Okay. That's fine. Good to know. Good to know what it all costs. But that should be more trivial as I start to earn more. Once I've got a big farm like this, it'll be no problem at all. So I need to plant my banana tree. I have banana trees now. I can make banana milkshakes. Well, once I have a barn and stuff. So I need to oh, I need to get my sawmill in and do all of that stuff as well. And then my, my farm will be as good as Eugene's eventually. Well, I'll have all these cool trees. I have an entire orchard. I have loads of plots with loads of cool stuff and I'll be able to actually make food out of all of it. You watch. Okay, do I have any stamina left? I do a little bit. So, I'm going to chop at this stump for a bit. Luckily, it saves your progress on that, so that's kind of cool. Right. I'm just going to see if there's anything that I can do on the TV. I can, apparently. I can make cookie ice cream now. Yes. And I can make a copper sickle. And the weather will be rainy. I'd be really disappointed if there's an 84% chance of rain and it didn't rain. It's possible. 
I would be very disappointed though. All right then, I've been going for ages now. That was a really good trip to the farmer's market, but I'm gonna need to wait, I think, until next time to uh, harvest all of this and to save, uh, to sort of plant all my new stuff. All this new stuff I've got, and I've got my mint quest I can hand in. I can start planting honeydew melons. Uh, I've got a few flowers that I can go sell. I can start growing cashews, blueberries, I think peppercorns. Yep, yeah, peppercorns. Um, and um, what I'm going to start doing is making um, in 16 squares, so four by four, of each thing. Um, and then I'm going to start just growing individual plots of each thing that I can grow in this area. So um, I'm going to start trying to move away from this plot here. I'll let that slowly die off. I'll harvest it. I'll carry on caring for it. But I won't worry too much about it. Um, and then I'm going to just start, yeah, maybe just up here. Um, in this little spl splot here. This little spot here. And I'll just start putting... Um, four by fours and I'm just gonna start like having one piece of produce per thing and then I may start putting like I may get some signs at the next farmers market and start like actually signing them all up properly as well um, I haven't really been able to do that with the trees but maybe I'll just leave the trees to grow a bit wild and I'll just see what see what happens with them you know or just be a bit uh, carefree with them but that's it for today's episode I hope you enjoyed and if you did then please do leave me a like below if you would like to see more pumpkin days then please subscribe I'll let you know when the videos are out I hope to see you next time in the meantime though please look after yourselves and keep being awesome